Hello everyone, Silver Contrail here, and today we are on episode 7, I believe, so already making a lot of progress. Uh, very, very cool. I'm out here in my base, of course, where I usually am. Uh, okay, a couple of things to cover and some stuff to talk about real quick. Uh, first of all, I got a comment on my episode 5, I believe, uh, by this guy, and he said, hey, you know, your version of your version of salt or res or rotary craft that's what it is rotary craft too many crafts uh rotary craft is outdated and you should update it and i was like okay who the heck are you and how do you know that my rotary craft is outdated so i ended up doing some research and i did find out that it was pretty outdated it was a couple of versions behind so i have updated uh, and i actually ran into an error while i was updating um, but i was able to get it fixed because the guy who commented happened to be the creator of Rotary Craft. So that was pretty interesting. I ended up checking out his channel and I was like, this guy has like 84 subscribers, but his videos have hundreds of views. I was like, how is he getting... Oh, and I kind of came to that conclusion and I checked uh, the thread title for Rotary Craft and the, the person who made it was in fact the same person who commented on my channel. So pretty cool, got to talk to another mod creator. That's always fun, I do enjoy that. Uh, so I updated my version of Rotary Craft uh, there's some changes in here. I can see why he wanted me to update, uh, because it ended up nerfing one of the machines that I have, uh, the Magnostatic Engine. So this is the full setup for the power. Um, I want to use this to power my Magnostatic Engine so that I can run full time to power the uh, extractor here. The problem is that these guys have been nerfed. There's no longer the plus and the minus signs here. Uh, they are set to a certain amount of torque. Um, and they won't, they won't go over that. Um, the problem with this is that, and yeah, that's really loud. Um, the problem with this is that this isn't enough. Of the speed isn't enough. Um, it'll, it'll get enough torque. You only need about five twelve torque, I believe, in order to run uh, the extractor. Uh, but you need about eight thousand radians per second in terms of speed. This will not go to 8,000 radians per second. In fact, if we look at it, uh, okay, it's not going to say uh, in there, but if I do you know, turn it on and I try to plus, I can't, I can't go up any higher than that. Um, it is capped at about 2,000 uh, radians per second. Um, that's enough to run everything but this one. In fact, I'll turn it on one more time. You can see that the speed here uh, needs to double. Uh, so I need to have some sort of way to run this whole process, uh, and just the magnostatic engine alone is not going to do it. Uh, but there's a lot of ways we can get around this, a lot of ways actually, and that's sort of the the the, the cool thing about rotary craft is that there's all these cool little ways to transfer power and to also change the power that's going between your machines, uh, just like these bevel gears that I have that are changing the power. Uh, but we can do a lot more. And the machine that we're going to be using that we need to create is called, if I can find it in here, uh, the CVT unit. Uh, so this guy basically is a dynamic gearbox. Um, it has a bunch of different uh, belts, and it allows you to use those to change the ratio of the gears. And if you know anything about gear ratios, um, Imagine that you have a small gear, or imagine you have two gears, uh, and one is turning the other, and they're the, if the gears are the same size and they have the same tooth count, um, they're both going to spin at the same rate. If you have a small gear that spins a large gear, and the small gear has less teeth, the large gear is going to spin much, much slower than the small gear. Every time the small gear makes a revolution, the large gear is only going to make... Uh, a fraction of a revolution that's equal to the ratio between their teeth. So, if you have an uh, a ten tooth gear and a one tooth and a uh, well, I guess you can't really have a one tooth gear. Okay, so you've got an eight tooth gear and a forty tooth gear. Um, the ratio there is going to be uh, the difference between, or is going to be the ratio between eight and forty. Uh, so this is something I learned actually way, 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 way back in the day when I used to build Lego all the time, and I did a lot of stuff with Technic and the. Uh, the act, the uh, the Mindstorms robotics 
And learning how to do gear ratios was important because sometimes you need some, some axle to spin really fast, sometimes you need it to spin really slow, and torque is definitely a big issue when you're dealing with, uh, can I get something to move? Um, uh, for instance, you can make, you can plug up a, a motor to something and it won't have enough torque, but if I put a small gear on the end and then I put a large gear on next to it, it'll turn that. Or, excuse me, um, a large gear and then a small gear. Or, wait, is it the way around? You know what? I don't even remember. So we're just going to pretend that I know what I'm talking about. And uh, we're going to make the CVT unit. And then you'll probably get more of an idea there. There's a reason why I'm not going into teaching. Because <laughs> I'm not a very good teacher. Uh, so for this one, we're going to need a uh, circuit board, a mount, a screen, some diamond shaft units, and some shaft bearings. Uh, so let's grab the NEI recipe, actually. Uh, the diamond shaft units are just three diamonds. You get three of them. It's kind of pricey, but we can live with it. Uh, the shaft bearings require one HSLA steel ingot and a bunch of these ball bearings, which uh, are crafted with four of the steel ingots, and you get 16 of those. So those aren't too hard. These aren't too hard. Uh, the circuit board, we've already made one before. Uh, these require gold. Um, iron and you can also do this recipe if you have thermal expansion installed uh, which uses electrum and copper uh, I prefer this one just to get two uh, and then the mount uh, requires a base panel and some steel I think I've made that before as well maybe not and then the screen oh which requires another circuit board so definitely want to use the recipe that gets me two circuit boards and then uh, some more steel a glass pane and that gets us that so we're gonna need a lot of the steel Steel and in before I don't have any steel because that would just be great. I have invar and and silver on me. I don't think I have any. Uh, let me cook some up and then we will uh, come back. Okay, now I've got the steel on me. I've got 23 of it, so it should be enough to make this. We'll see. Uh, let's first make the, if I can click right, uh, the diamond shaft units. So put those there. Um, and then we want uh, the circuit boards, which are going to take the gold and the other stuff in sort of a triangle. And then the one ender pearl, which I got from Mindchem. And then two circuit boards, which both of which we're going to need. Uh, the shaft bearing, which takes the ball bearing. So that's going to get us the ball bearings. And then we just do this. That's only going to get us... Oh, that's not going to get us enough, is it? We're going to get us two. We're going to make another set. And then... Not what I wanted to do. There we go. One, two. Okay, and then... So that's all of this, and then we need the mount, which does take a base panel, and I actually think I have one still lying around. I tend to use them for a lot of things. Let's see, do I? No, maybe I don't. Oh, there's mounts right here. Oh, I'll just grab that. Oh, I have base panels on me. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, we got, we got the mount. Uh, and then the screen, which takes four, and that guy. Right. One, two, three, four. Here. Oh, you can make um, boots. Cool. And then the glass pane. Why do I have. Oh. Screen. Okay, and then this goes here. The mount. Uh, the bearings go like this. And then the two diamond shafts go like that. And I need to make this not in a crafting bench, I need to make this in the work table course. So put all this stuff in here and we should get the CVT unit. Excellent. Great. Good stuff. Cheerio. Um, <laughs> okay, so we got this. Uh, let me just go ahead and break this guy. So this is basically going to go between the magnostatic engine and the uh, bevel gears. So, go ahead and move all of this stuff now. Move this too. Uh, I don't think I've talked about this, so I do want to talk about that pretty soon here. Um, so let's set this up first. This needs to go 
This needs to face the other direction, I think. I think, yeah, I think that's how it has to be set up. And then this goes here. And then we put the uh, redstone reception coil here. Okay. So that's part of what we need to do. Um, so, okay, belt ratio. Can I change this to anything else? Or is it going to complain if I try to? All right. Um, basically, this is going to just continue the shaft, so if I just go ahead and say run, it should, it should, it should, oh, shoot, we can't do this yet, I forgot, this thing needs one more thing, uh, it does need a bucket of lubricant, uh, a lot of machines in Rotorcraft do require uh, lubricant. Uh, this one requires it, but it does not consume it, so you don't have to keep producing it, uh, but you do need it the first time. Uh, so that actually means we do need to produce lubricant. Um, let me turn that off. Which is not going to uh, apparently tell me how to make. That's nice. Uh, but we can look it up in the handbook. So let's look up that. That is under... Here we are, lubricant. Um, most inline gearboxes need to be lubricated to maintain their ability to transmit power. Operated without lubricant, they would gradually wear down and transmit less and less torque, and thus less power. To keep them lubricated, simply run a line of lubricant hose over the grinder, to, uh, from a grinder to the gearbox, and put some seeds in the grinder and watch the hose transmit the oil. Uh, most gearboxes do not consume the lubricant, and more. Uh, most gearboxes do consume the lubricant and more of it at higher speed, so keep an eye on the meter and the GUI. This one, again, the one that we have here, will not consume it, but we do need to make a grinder, which I totally forgot about, and I apologize for that. Uh, we need to make a grinder. Do, 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 Is it in here? It's one of these guys. I know it's, I know it's in here somewhere. Um, I kind of wanted to see. Here it is. Okay. So this is the grinder. Um, it grinds things. Uh, it turns stone to cobblestone, cobblestone to gra cobble to gravel, gravel to sand. Oh, it turns gravel into sand. That's pretty nifty. Actually, I actually like that. That's a cool function. Uh, I don't really have a lot of sand around me, but I've got a bunch of gravel beach biomes. So this would be really helpful for getting sand. Uh, and it grinds the canola seeds into an oil usable as lubricant. The machine's output speed goes up as the input speed does. Okay, so this one's going to need some power too, which I should be able to power with a magnostatic engine. Uh, no problem, uh, just to make at least one bucket. Uh, but it will require some base panels, some more steel, uh, and it's going to require some stuff that I might not actually have on hand. Um, not the MFR grinder, but we want the rotary craft grinder. Uh, this one's going to take saws, and saws are made with the steel gear. The steel gears, you get three of them. Uh, basically, I need more steel than that. Uh, so... Once again, making steel, the fun, fun, fun process of making lots and lots of steel. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of it. Just put two in there for now. Uh, I probably want another gunpowder because it'll probably run out. And sometimes you get a bonus, so you get more than nine. That time I only got nine. Kind of sad. Uh, then we need the base panels. We're going to need another one, so might as well throw that back. Oh, I already have a steel gear. It's good to see. Uh, dun 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 dun. And here's the base panels that we need. Uh, there's two ingots. So we got the one gear. We need another gear. Or two more gears, actually. But this makes three, so that's not a big problem. Or not a big deal. So if we do this, we get three gears. We got four gears. Uh, and then to make the saws, we're going to need more of these things. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one. Wait, is that not it? Oh, it goes in the corners, doesn't it? I was paying attention. Uh, so two saws, and that's it, isn't it? A gear, and then these guys, and one, and two. Oh, well, I did it again, what do you know? These need to go in the work table. So these guys go like this, and there we go, there's the grinder. Cool. 
Um, I'm gonna move this and then turn this guy. Actually, I'll just pick it up. Not a big deal. And then we'll place it right here. And it should get power still. And get a lot of power. We'll have to go check. I want to check on the nether this episode. Hopefully towards the end we'll, we'll go check on the nether. Because uh, I'm kind of interested to see how that's turning out. Okay, where does this thing receive power? Alright, okay, right there. Uh, so let's turn it. So it's facing the right direction. Cool. And then we need to put canola seeds in here. I don't know how you get it out. Actually, now that I think about it, it might be a good idea to experiment with that. <laughs> um, uh, it grinds into oil, usable as a lubricant. Oh, oh yeah. So this this kind of a slot here, this is like the internal storage. It holds like 4,000, I think, millibuckets. Uh, if you put a bucket in here, it'll just put the lubricant into the bucket. Uh, a couple of the machines in Rotorcraft are like that, as far as I've seen. Let me sleep so nothing comes through that door unexpectedly. Uh, probably going to need to go kill some cows, too, because we need the stuff. We need leather. Um... What am I looking for? I just forgot. Totally spaced. I do this a lot, actually. Where I'm like, oh, I need to go get something, and then I totally forget. Oh, yes, the, the seeds. The seeds. Uh, that's actually what these things are. These are the canola plants. Um, you can get them just by, like, punching grass. Uh, sometimes you get canola seeds. And that should be enough uh, to go ahead and run this process, I guess. Uh, so let's put some canola seeds in there and turn it on. Uh, it needs more power. There. It doesn't require a whole lot. I'm going to seize. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is going to run. And it's going to get us our uh, stuff. Stuff we need. As for this guy, this is going to be... Uh, these slots are for belts. So... Notice that higher ratios require more belts, with each a power of 2 doubling the maximum ratio, capped at 31 to 1. Now, I don't know if, like, it's going to let me put these in here. Torque. Speed. I don't think it's going to, because it doesn't want me to. Like, it doesn't... I think that is, like, my maximum. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it gets a little bit. Not a whole lot. So we'll let that run. Uh, we need to make some belts, though, and belts, belts, do, 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 uh, you get two of them for a bunch of leather and some steel, which means I kind of want to go farm some cows, I think, would probably be the best idea. Where is my wheat? Where is my wheat? I don't really have a bunch. I should probably grow some. Um, cows. If I were a cow, where would I be? I would be roaming in the pastures. Hello, cow. Uh, where's your buddies, mm. Mr. Cow? Oh, there's a cow. Okay, you don't follow me. I'll get him to follow me. Hello. Come along. Mm. I really should get leads. Oh, don't want to go down here. Mm. Alright, cows, make some babies. Make some baby cows. Yay, congratulations. And now you're going to die. How much did I get? I got four. So I still got a long ways to go uh, before I can get all the leather for that. So I'm going to go probably, I'll probably make a lead actually and, and start up a cow farm and have that going. So I'll be back when I get that set up. All right, guys, I'm back and I have a bunch of cows. Pretty nifty. Uh, of course, killing these things with the looting five sword that I have here is uh, pretty efficient. They drop a whole bunch of leather, so that should be... I think I need one more. It takes... Yeah, that'll be enough. I need 16 for two batches of the belts. And we make the belts, and then we can hook everything up here. Uh, I also got the lubricant bucket, which of course made with the grinder here. Um, and then if I just click on this, it'll give it the lubricant that it needs, and then uh, should be good to go. 
as far as the lubricant goes, and then we need to make the other stuff. I don't know if we need, if you need to use this with it, probably not. Uh, I need two of the steel ingots. Where are, they're there. So one, two, and then surround them with leather. And we get the belt, so we'll make two of these, two sets of these, which gives me four total. All right, and then put these in here. So one. Um, I'm under the impression that I can bump this up now. Yep, I can put it to two. I can't put it to three. Two is my maximum. Uh, but I can put it to two if I want. And if I put them here, I can put it to, I think, four. And then I think five is, yep, four is the max. Um, I'm pretty sure I just want two. But we'll see. Uh, there's one more thing we need to make. And I just thought about it, and it didn't occur to me until now. Three craft. I'm not sure what it's called. Oh yeah, the angular transducer. And this does require an ender pearl. Unfortunately. Angular transducer, of course. Of course things require ender pearls. Why 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 should they ever make it easy on me? I do have one more Einsteinium, so I can possibly do this. Um I need carbon. Which I have apparently no coal on me. For whatever reason. Why don't I have coal on me? I must have stashed it somewhere. There it is. Uh, really quick, decompile some coal. Turn that into the carbon. Uh, carbon goes in here. Grab this guy. Uh, select the carbonate ion. Make... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 of those. Um, pull this out. Grab the calcium carbonate. We need to have calcium and the carbonate, which we have. And we have the calcium, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then how much energy do we have? Enough. Grab the Einsteinium. Just nine minutes remaining on it. Pull this out. Switch over to the Ender Pearl recipe. Throw it back in. Grab the Ender Pearl. Why did it not use this up? I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Okay, just a little glitch. Uh, then we can go ahead and make this guy, which can be made in either. Uh, this or the workbench. So close that out. Angular transducer. This gives you some information on the speed uh, going through it. So bevel gear is transmitting zero watts at zero radians per second. And it talks about where the output side is. Power is being received from none. So it's not doing anything right now. So it's not going to say that it's doing anything right now, as you might expect. Uh, but it will when I hook this guy up. So let's plug up the magnostatic engine. Um, and this should get up the power, give it a little bit of speed. And now we can see that it is outputting uh, two radians per second. Now this thing's set to only one radian per second, but it is outputting two radians per second. Uh, I guess it doesn't give me any information on the torque. But it, does it does tell me the power, but it doesn't give me the torque. Um, but presumably, if the torque is the same, if the power is the same, and the radian is doubled, that must mean that the torque is being halved, because um, it's it's torque times speed equals power. So just using some simple algebra there, you can determine uh, what is happening to the torque in this instance. So what this guy does is he lets me double either the speed or the torque, or increase that by some factor, uh, but then it's going to decrease the other one by the same factor. So that's basically what this is doing, and this is going to let me get up to the speed I need to run that third stage process. So if I bump this up now to its max setting, which is two, uh, 2048, um, this is just still not enough. So what we want to do is we want to move to 3, and that's still not quite enough. So we want to bump up to 4, and that is enough. And now I'm able to run all four processes simultaneously. Very, very cool. And also, as you can see, I am powering the whole thing. Um, yeah, powering the whole thing at once. Uh, I, you know, I won't lose any energy. I can leave it on like this all the time if I wanted to. Uh, it would, you know, use up some lava a little bit faster, but uh, I could leave it like this if I just wanted to leave it here because this is enough power uh, to simply run the entire process uh, without any problems. So, cool. Everything here works, and... Yeah, this is what I've been gunning for for a while. Uh, with this whole setup here, this is going to make sure that I have enough materials to make what I want to make. And believe me, 
there is a lot of things that I want to make. So we're going to have a lot of cool stuff uh, coming up probably next episode. So that should be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. 4.19 at 8192 radians per second, doubling, or actually not doubling, quadrupling the speed that I have here. So cool, 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 very exciting. Finally happy to get this all set up. Um, okay, so yeah, I did want to talk about this because I don't know if I talked about this. Uh, basically, you know, the test rack doing the same thing, pulling the lava in from the nether, um, piping it to all the magmatic dynamos I do have you know another pipe down below you know coming across here um, and then down here which I just jump, jumped down to foolishly because now I can't get back up um, no let me out no, I can't get out I'm smart Schmert. Uh and then we have the redstone energy conduit here this is what all of the dynamos are pumping into. Uh, the redstone energy conduit carries, I think, 10,000 redstone flux per tick, and it's being sent to this transfer node, which is part of Extra Utilities, uh, which is going to store the power, and then it's going to search for inventories that are connected to it with the transfer pipes. Uh, as long as they have as long as they have a valid um, an, an inventory for the energy. Uh, so the energy node will just send it to uh, the energy conduit, and then it'll also send it to these conduits over here. So that's how I'm distributing my power. And yeah, that's the whole system. Each of these uh, outputs 80 redstone flux per tick. And so together they're outputting 800 redstone flux per tick. And that is enough to power this at full power. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I make some steak. Um, although I think if I run something else, it's going to complain. I think it's maybe just enough, but I guess not. Maybe if I ran like a bunch of these at once, it would start whining about that, but it's not a big deal. I could always like temporarily just switch this off if I wanted to, and it would pretty much fill up right away. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much pretty much everything I wanted to do today. So let's for the last thing, uh, we'll jump over into the Nether and look at the pump just to see what this looks like. Let me grab a bow. Because I don't want to get killed here by gas. Doesn't look like there are any out here. Okay. All right, down the hatch. Oh, those are thorns. And so this is what the pump has dug up so far. Or not dug up, but sucked up so far. Uh, it's turned all of this into stone. Of course, you can ignore the stone bricks because I placed those. But it's turned all of this into stone. So this was all, you know, source blocks previously. And it's now just stone. So uh, no lag as far as, you know, there's no repeatedly updating uh, stuff here. Uh, repeatedly updated lava uh, like you would get if you used a buildcraft pump. So pretty cool. Economical. It's, it's weird to look at the pattern that it makes. If you look at like a Buildcraft pump, they have a very well-defined pattern. And if you watch them for long enough, which I definitely have, uh, you can really make that out. But with this one, this one doesn't really necessarily have a pattern. It's sort of, sort of odd. But we really haven't drained that much lava, and there's a ton of lava remaining. So lots of power here, tons of potential energy, and there are more and more ways to produce energy. Uh, I'm considering, and I was talking to my brother about this, making a reactant dynamo and setting up a system for that. Uh, we'll talk more about that maybe later. And yeah, I think I think the next thing to do is to work on MFR. There's some farms I want to set up, and there's some blocks in MFR that look really cool. And I'd like to make my base look better. Uh, this whole island is something that I want to develop and build. And hopefully we'll we'll do some stuff next time. I think I think with building. Uh, rather than strictly you know, producing power and and working on infrastructure, because I'm basically at a at a really solid point with this, where um, this is gonna work pretty much fine. Um, I'm just gonna process all of my iron ore, and uh, you know let that go through. 
Get my tin in there. Excellent. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for me. Um, of course, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I do appreciate the comments that I'm getting so far, uh, so please keep them coming if you do like these videos. Um, that's all I ask if you want to leave a comment, if you, if you think there's something cool. Uh, I don't like asking for likes or subscribing, or, you know, for likes or anything like that. Like, I mean, if you thought it was cool, I mean, just, you can tell me. That'd be, that'd be cool. I don't even, like, I don't, I don't really care necessarily that my videos get around a whole bunch. I don't advertise my channel at all. Um, but it is cool to hear feedback from people, especially if I can take that feedback and make my videos better. So that's always cool. Yep. But anyways, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. And until next time then.